Restoration UK introduces Dry Zone Damp Proofing Cream, a groundbreaking and effective solution for the problem of rising damp. The patented high strength formulation offers excellent protection against rising damp and ensures superior penetration into bricks, masonry, and mortar. Dry Zone is three times faster to install than traditional chemical injection systems, minimizing inconvenience and disruption to the householder. Because it is solvent free, non caustic, and non flammable, it is also safer to use. Dry Zone the fast, clean and effective treatment for rising damp. Many houses suffer from dampness in one form or another. Condensation, rain penetration and leaking water pipes are very common and should not be confused with rising damp. A proper diagnosis to determine the source of dampness must be carried out before the correct remedial action can be taken. Rising damp occurs when groundwater enters the structure of a building, rises up through the walls and evaporates internally, causing decorative spoiling, crumbling plaster and timber decay. If there is a high level of moisture in the surrounding ground and no damp proof course is present or has been bridged through bad practice, groundwater will rise into a building by capillary action through the pores in the brickwork or masonry. Research has shown the mortar beds are the main pathways through which the moisture travels, effectively acting as a wick within the wall structure. As the moisture evaporates internally, soluble salts are left behind, and over time these crystallise to form a visible salt band towards the maximum height the moisture rises. Even if a damp-proof course is then installed, the salt concentration will continue to absorb moisture from the surrounding environment and cause the wall to remain damp. The dry zone system comprises of two essential elements. The patented dry zone damp proofing cream which forms a barrier to moisture rising from the ground and a salt resistant replastering system that isolates salt contamination that has built up within the wall structure preventing damage to paintwork and decor. Once the affected area has been correctly diagnosed, damaged decorations and floor coverings should be taken down, timber skirtings and architraves lifted, and all plasterwork removed to a minimum height of one metre above floor level, or at least half a metre above the highest evidence of dampness, whichever is the greater. Any debris which causes bridging of the damp-proof course must also be removed. 12mm diameter holes are then drilled at regular intervals through a level mortar bed, at least 150mm above the external ground level. The depth and positioning of these holes will be determined by the type of wall structure, though in general they should be no more than 120mm apart. Almost all wall types can be drilled from one side in a single operation. Dry zone damp proofing cream is shipped in easy to handle foil cartridges and once placed within the applicator gun, a sharp blade should be used to remove the end of the packaging and the applicator cap securely reattached, ready for use. The delivery tube should be inserted the full depth into the pre-drilled hole and the gun trigger gently squeezed, back filling each hole to within one centimetre of the surface. Externally drilled holes should be either plugged or pointed over after application. The high strength dry zone formula has been specifically designed to utilise the moisture in a damp wall to aid its distribution and a slow curing to maximise diffusion through the mortar course. The patented compound lines the pores of the mortar and, once cured, repels moisture, creating a dry zone which acts as an effective barrier to damp. The unique silane siloxane formula contains over 60% active ingredient and is scientifically proven to offer long-term protection against rising damp. Once the new dry zone damp proof course is in place, the wall will need to be re-plastered. Two coats of sand cement render 
incorporating render pell should be applied. This specially designed plasterwork prevents the passage of hygroscopic salts from the underlying masonry. A layer of finishing plaster is then applied to give a smooth surface for decorative purposes. All work should be cut short of the finished floor level to prevent the transfer of moisture and any damp timber should be physically isolated from the masonry with a damp proof membrane. Once the new internal plaster work has dried out, a one year temporary decorative finish can be applied and all timber skirting and architraves refitted. Restoration UK plaster membrane offers an alternative replastering method. It can be fitted over the existing plaster work and a new lightweight plaster applied. This method provides a durable barrier against salt contamination and offers the benefit of allowing a lightweight or lime based plaster system to be used. The dry zone system is the result of over 10 years research and development and has been proven to outperform competing products. Dryzone's unique formula has been extensively tested in a wide range of mortars of differing porosity and alkalinity, giving assurance that it will work on buildings of any age. Make your house a dry zone. Dry zone, the fast, clean and effective treatment for rising damp. Guarantees are available when Dryzone is installed by an experienced contractor.